Alrighty, I've gotten a whole bunch of votes on uh, what to name the corefish, and so I have chosen the winner basically by the one that kept showing up all the time. And that is... Clamps. It's, uh... Not too interesting of a name, but uh, it is a Futurama reference, and that's a bonus. Uh, I, I know that the name Zoidberg was a popular choice, but I did use that for my uh, Octillery in uh, Platinum, so I don't want to reuse the name. There are a few other decent suggestions here and there. I still kind of like the name Bubba Gump, actually, but I'm going to go with Clamps. It just seems like the best choice. So anyway, uh, as far as optional surfing areas go, I still haven't done any of the stuff between uh, basically where Mr. Briney's boat takes you, all those routes, and I haven't done New Mauville. I'm going to be getting to those uh, in a later segment. I don't know if it'll be the next one, or it might even be this one, actually. But uh, before I do any of that, I'm going to pro uh, progress a bit further up this way. And, and we have hidden items. That's always good. Even though it's another iron that I'm never going to use. Yeah, I'm just going to progress a little bit more and get my final team member, which I've already said in other episodes that it is a Tropius, so there's not any mystery involved, but... Eh. Uh, probably going to die, so I guess I better switch out. Yeah, I mean, I, I planned on Zoe being the one present for double battles just to make them go better. I don't know how well this plan is actually going to go, but, I mean, we'll see. I, I don't actually know what Helping Hand does. It's supposed to power up attacks, but I don't know if that means it powers up the attack stat. Yeah, that, that was kind of... That was actually the thing I replaced with the DK64 cli uh, clip, because I beat them in like two seconds and said I was bored. Okay, so yeah, let's see, what do I feel about this one? Um, even so, comma, no, I don't know. Um, I hate this, I hate how they only give you certain words to pick from. Uh, it was habit. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, basically just I said it was boring battle. Yeah, that's so funny. Oh my god. So I decided, hey, this is actually not funny to show. I'll put in a clip of something else. There's Carvana, which I was going to use if uh, it had won the poll. I think bo both are decent choices. Protect, uh, not, it's better than Leer. I don't know if I'll end up keeping that move. Oh, hello. I actually didn't know you were here. Let's see what you want. Uh, that's actually a point of debate, because starting with Soul Silver, I was, uh. What do you want? Nobody cares. Uh,. Yeah, and Soul Silver. If you looked at my uh, text LP of that, if you still haven't looked at that, I suggest doing so. It's on my website, link to it on my like YouTube channel. But uh, I, I decided to use 12 Pokemon for the Kanto half of the game instead of just six, and so you have to switch out all the time. But it really was not that much of a problem, which is surprising because uh, Gold Silver and the Remix have really, really bad leveling problems in them. And so, even with that, I did manage to pull it off all right. Is there water down there? Can that even be reached? I don't think it can, actually. It's probably just there for background. But I have to check. Yeah, there's rocks in the way. So anyway, yeah, then I did it again for white, and I'm most likely going to be doing it for black or white, too, whichever one I get. Uh, I'm not doing it for this playthrough because it would be really annoying to record, probably, but if you've never tried it, uh, give it a, give it a shot, because it's kind of interesting trying to manage that many Pokémon. Basically, using them based on 
uh, what needs the most experience, not necessarily what makes a good type matchup. I end up doing that in my six Pokemon playthroughs anyway, but it, it even more so in those. I don't know, it's worth trying out, I guess. Because my problem is I can never decide what Pokemon I want to use because there's so many that are interesting to me. So that way you get to use more and it's kind of cool that way. Okay, Clamp still needs... cannot really battle, and I could be uh, using the bait and switch method in order to get extra experience, but that's really annoying and I'm not going to bother with that. And, okay, there goes that trainer. Wait, didn't I... Oh, it's for you. Uh, I kind of like how Curse makes Body Slam stronger. Iron Defense is... It raises defense more, but yeah, I'm going to keep Curse. And Smoke Screen might be helpful here and there. Generally, I'm not too big on the defensive moves. They're helpful in some situations, but eh. Anyway, this is a dead-end route, so I'll just pick up what I can here and then move on with my life. Another double battle, chase. Get in there. Let's see, does it have a grammatical error? No. There was a grammatical error with that in second-gen games. It would say, like, the twins... Uh, twins name and name wants to battle. I know that was super interesting to share, but... And let's hope that spark does not, er, protect does not work. Okay, good, it didn't. Surprisingly, Dig did not kill that thing. I think Bug actually resists ground, I forgot about that. But whatever. They are level 10 Bugs, they are not a threat. Despite what Aaron of the Sinoh Elite 4 might think. And I actually didn't realize that you were a trainer. I thought that you were just going to be somebody talking about the massive amount of berries here, but whatever. Um, see, here I am again going for levels instead of what actually works. Now, if I was smart, I would probably just use what works and then leveling would work out on its own, but no. Have to do it the annoying way. Clamps is catching up. So he's gonna die from poison. And yeah, so many berries. I'm not sure what these do. Pomegs, are these the. I think Pomegs are EV berries, actually. Let me check. Yeah, they lower EVs by 10, but increase happiness. Only way to get them in a 5th gen is from the Windswept Sky in the Dream World, which. I have a ton of them. I always put them on the share shelf. Nobody ever takes them because they're pretty easy to get. But there's always going to be somebody complaining, I can't grow them in the main game, this is awful. So what are you going to give me? I think he just gives you a random berry every day. Okay, apparently two of the same random berry. Uh, she will take random phrases and give you a berry based on it. I actually don't remember what any of those are. I'll have to look them up at some point. I don't really care about berries enough for this to be a major issue, but I will try to remember. And yeah, of course, there's a hidden item I wouldn't throw it. How dare there be a hidden item. At least it was a good one. And okay, I guess that takes care of that little dead-end route. Um, are running into evolved Pokemon now and barely surviving them, and my team is not doing too great at the moment, but I think I'll be okay. Taylor is probably my favorite start of game bird, just because it isn't brown and gray, brown or gray like all the others. Starly is the best of them, but I've always kind of wanted to use a Taylo and then never ended up doing it because. Oh, and has so many other Pokemon that I like. And okay, moving on to this place. Uh, see if I can avoid some trainers here, because all I want is my Bananasaurus. And because it is a rare encounter, uh, it might be a while before I'm actually able to find one. 
especially if I lead with a slow Pokemon that cannot run away. So yeah, off-screen healing, and uh, I will cut back once I find it. Hey, guess what? I found one. So let's uh, go ahead and try and nab him. I don't know if Spark will kill it or not, but you know what? I'm going to guess that it isn't, so let's go for it. Yep, we're good. And then critical hit, but then I have a save state anyway, so it wouldn't be that bad. And uh, since the rest of my team is in playing Pokeballs, I suppose this one might as well be too. We can contend with... Okay, yeah, I thought it had a kind of low catch rate, but no, we're good. So yeah, we've got Tropius. I have thought of a name, it is not that great, but I'm gonna go with Dippy. That is the dinosaur from uh, Banjo-Tooie, it's a Diplodocus. I think Tropius is supposed to be an uh, Apatosaurus, Brontosaurus, whatever you want to call it. They're similar enough, whatever. Only other names I could think of are much worse, so... Uh, let's go ahead, get him out of the PC. See what kind of nature I got stuck with, and all that good stuff. Uh, Beef Coon, you have now been kicked out of the team, but I'm sure I'll find a use for you again at some point. Because uh, despite Tropius's role as an HM slave in many people's games, I'm going to be using Hardy again. Is that... yep, Hardy again. Okay. Anyway, we've got a uh, Razor Leaf is a good move. Stomp is okay. Eh, it'll probably be learning Fly at some point. I don't know if it gets any other flying moves. Not gonna teach it Cut. But uh, now that Beef Coon is off the team, I do have to uh, teach Surf. So I'm still gonna be following my rule of not really using it for battle, though. I'm gonna go ahead get rid of Vice Grip. Uh, so Surf is there, I'll use it if I have to. Like, if I'm gonna lose a battle otherwise, then sure, I'll go for it. But otherwise, uh, I'm gonna stick with the other moves. So do I have a Miracle Seed? I think I have a Miracle Seed, yeah. I could probably pick, think of a better item, because the type-boosting items are usually not the best out there, but going with that for now. Uh, Watson, you already... yeah. You already commissioned me to go here. Anyway, yeah. Uh, the route I got Tropius on, not gonna explore that one yet. Because I want to take care of business elsewhere first, so... <sighs> yeah, I'll be talking about those ruins eventually. Not like people don't know about them already. But... No, I'm not gonna use the key. Screw it. Okay, so yeah. Here's Numaville, basically the power plant. Uh, we've got wild electric types all over the place. So actually I'm going to stick Dippy up in front, just because... Well, actually he won't resist the attacks because uh, part flying, but... Voltorb very rarely has any electric moves anyway. I don't know if that was actually changed for third gen. I know that he didn't in first, and probably second. But... Yeah, let's just, uh head through this place. I'm not going to get through the whole place in one video, most likely. It's not really much of a maze, but... Yeah. I only have, like, two minutes left anyway. And yeah, as uh, someone else asked, no, I do not have unlimited upload time. It is most likely because of the suspension that I had back in the day. Because I... Uh, one of the videos that got flagged for that was a Gex 3 video that I put the theme song for MASH in, and that one never I never actually deleted, so I still have it as a strike against my account. So, yeah, I could maybe try to delete it, I don't know if that would help. Basically, it's just, uh, more reason for me to hate Gex 3. And... Yeah, that did not go that well. Whatever, I only have... God, getting paralyzed like every four seconds here. Escape rope. Should probably keep using the item finder, because you never know what you're going to find. I'm guessing this is going to be a Voltorb right here. Uh, no, it was not. Okay. Eh, whatever. This might actually be a rare case of me starting out the next video in the place where I left off in the previous one. 
because I'm not going to finish this place off screen or anything. I think I will go back and heal, but I'll pop right back in for next time and go through here, and then I can finally fight all those trainers in the water, which I know everybody is looking forward to because I've been talking about it for like four months now. But I have a pointless little rant slash story to tell over that, so that'll be fun. So yeah, see you next time for more of this and that and stuff.